So today we're going to be graphing the function y equals 2x minus 1 with a certain domain. That domain is going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then we want to identify the range of the function. So first we're given this little um, equation here, y equals 2x minus 1. And with this domain, these are like the x values, the inputs. So we have our y equals 2x minus 1. And I want to make a table of x and y values, or x values being the values that are here. I'm going to plug them in all right, for our x and to see what y value will come out of it. Okay, so if I'm plugging negative 2 in for x of this equation here, um, with x of e negative 2, I have 2 times negative 2. I'm substituting that negative 2 in for x minus 1. And now I'm left with, well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1. Negative 4 minus 1 comes out to be negative 5. Okay, if I plug in negative 1 in for x, I'm going to get, well, 2 times negative 1 minus 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus 1 is negative 3. Uh, plug in 0 for the next value here, 0, and for x again into this an initial equation. 2 times 0 uh, minus 1. And again, I love when 0 is for x, it makes it very simple to solve. So 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. 1, and for x, we're left with, well, 2 times 1 minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 1 comes out to be a positive 1. Okay. And lastly, here we have plug in a 2, our last domain for x, and 2 times 2 minus 1, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. You'll notice a pattern here between goes negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 2, 3. All of them go up at a value of 2. That's something to note, and we'll get to that later exactly what that means in a different video. And so we have x values of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and correspondingly we have negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. And so these are x and y values of our um, parts of our function given our certain domain. And so if I were to graph this, okay, I have to make an x and y plane here, okay, x and y. And so we're going to make our x plane, let's go to that from just uh, negative 1 here, negative 2, 1, positive 2. And we want to go, well, we have a y value biggest y value is negative 5, so I'm going to graph down, so I hit negative 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's negative 5, we have negative 3 here, negative 1, and up to, we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, and 1. So now we're going to be plotting these points here to see where they are in our graph. Well, I have an x value of negative 2, a y value of negative 5, my first point is right here, I have x value of negative 1, y value of negative 3, so I have negative 1, comma 3, as such. I have an x value of 0, a y value of negative 1, right there. Okay, and I have a y value of, or x value of 1, a y value of a positive 1, as such, and an x value of 2 and a y value of 3. Here we are. And so these dots here, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dots, are our function given a specific domain of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. And so the range of this function, the range of the function are the values given here. So our range here, but then a different color, the range of that function comes out to be negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3. So again, our domain, are these numbers given here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and we plug them in, we're inputting them into our function here to get our range, which was negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3, and they made up the coordinate points, negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. And these are the coordinate points here that are the graph of the function with that specific domain. I hope this video was informative, and thank you for watching.